remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? I bet you're not surprised by this story. A feared pastor who raped children in a bogus religious ceremony for over 20 years has been jailed. Self-styled prophet Michael Olorumbi was found guilty in January of offenses against six women and a man. Five of those attended his church. He carried out his attacks by convincing his victims to take part in a spiritual bathing ritual, which he told them was to cleanse them of evil spirits. Judge Sarah Buckingham, sentencing him to 34 years behind bars, said his case was one of the worst cases of sexual abuse of multiple children to come before the courts and described him as an arrogant, selfish, and vain man. She said the spiritual bats were actually designed to fulfill insatiable sexual appetite. The children feared you, and this enabled you to continue your grip, she said, sentencing Ola Rambai on Friday. Your offending has had an extreme and severe impact on your complainants. Any attempt to suggest otherwise would be without foundation. You abused your position of trust. They trusted you like God. In statements read to the court by the prosecution, one of the victims said Olorambai's actions made her question if my life was worth living. Olorambai, who blamed the devil for his actions, was convicted of 15 counts of rape, seven counts of indecent assault, and two counts of sexual assault. Olorambai's wife, Juliana, was also convicted of three counts of aiding and abetting rape and helping arrange some of the abortions of his victims, with some becoming pregnant multiple times. She was jailed for 11 years. As a pharmacist, he would take them to clinics to end the pregnancies. During the trial, the jury was told how Alorambi was linked to a Christian church in Birmingham, where he formed a splinter group for about 40 adults and children, separate to the church and in another location. In that group, he had the victims take part in a spiritual bathing. During the trial, the prosecutor told the jury the main tactic he employed was to claim that God instructed him to administer holy baths to some in his congregation to cleanse them and protect them from evil spirits. If that is true, why didn't these holy baths protect the congregation from him? being that he is an evil spirit. You know, anytime you have a situation where people, including children, are subjugated to religious prophets, you open up the door for abuse. And it happens way too often. I mean, listen, you should be very wary. Uh, a parent, a guardian, should be very wary of any type of organization that deals with kids. I don't know why people just automatically trust schools and churches, camps. These are havens for pedophiles. Think about it. I know it's hard to imagine, but this is hypothetical. Imagine if you were a pedophile. You would probably want to go and work near children so you can have easy access. Schools, ch churches, mosques, Camps, these places are loaded. Uh, gymnastic classes, these places are loaded with pedophiles. All these AAA sports and stuff, loaded 
with pedophiles. And a man can't just, or even a, a woman can't just take for granted because their son is being mentored by a man that he's going to be okay. A lot of these dudes are switch hitters. And then some of them are just straight down low. And all they like is boys. That's it. You have to be very, very careful. A lot of these dudes join the clergy just so they can have access to kids. Just so they can have access to women. You know, some of them, they, they join so they can get access at the sisters in the church. Question. Why do you think most of these churches have 70, 80 percent, 85 percent women? Dudes standing there preaching to all those women, all of those single women, talking about family, love, honor, protection respect and he running through them this happens often think I'm lying think about your church ask around more than likely I'll say at least I'll say well over 70 percent of them 70 80 percent of them sleeping around with other women in the church even your pastor yeah it's going down man it's going down these two, they are the lowest forms of human beings. When you're in the business of saving souls, that's basically what kind of business it is. Now, of course, somebody will say, well, you know, you got to save yourself. You can't count on another man to save yourself. That's true. But we're talking about basically coaching, you know, just like if you were a basketball coach, somebody coming, to, you know, you can teach a person how to, you can teach a person the fundamentals of basketball and all that stuff, but they still got to shoot the shot and make the, make the shot. They still got to, uh, you know, defend the ball, you know. They still have to protect the ball. They still have to run up and down the court. You can't run up and down the court for them. So that's kind of like how pastoring is. You know, you can give the people the information. It's up to them what they do with it. So... These people are in the business of saving souls and they are betraying people who are entrusting them to do the right thing. They are the lowest of the low. And for that, Ola Rumbas, your mama should be embarrassed and your daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.